Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here for thecombatsystem.com. Gonna give you the guide to common MMA, UFC submissions, AOC, just so you understand everything, in case you're a noob and a good review for everyone, even or if you train. Okay, so if, if all is in my guard, there's various submissions uh, that we can do. Okay, number one, the Kamura double wrist lock. Here, take this up. Okay, so from guard, that's a good one. Okay, here. Okay, I can also sit up here, switch that into a guillotine choke, arm in, arm out, doesn't matter. That's the wrist on the throat. Okay, maybe even an arm triangle choke from the bottom. You don't see this one too common anymore. But back in the day, Jeremy Horn got Chuck Liddell choked unconscious with that one. Um, triangle. Different ways of setting it up. And the guard, basically it's a, a head, a arm, and a head. Okay, here. There's a triangle choke from guard. Occasionally, you won't see it too common nowadays because everyone knows grappling and will defend. You got your armbar. Okay, here. And then I can go here or finish it by taking it over to this way. There's your basic armbar. Those are your most common submissions from the back. Inside the guard. Okay, there's not a lot we can do other than uh, Old school can opener. Now, guys, I can't bring to land all those. That old Mark Coleman, uh, Mark Kerr neck crank right there can choke him out. But now you'll see guys pull it to make the guy uncomfortable, and as he pulls his head backwards, they go into the elbow. From in the half guard, you can always go right to the heel hook. Okay, heel hook's the most dangerous move if you're not a grappler. Don't mess with this one on your buddies. No pain until it explodes the whole ACL, MCL. Okay? Um, occasionally, guys won't give up position to MMA nowadays unless, um, like GSP will go for leg locks in the last 30 seconds of the round. So here, I can go for a spin around knee bar. And then here, I'm attacking the knee bar with one joint, two legs on one, just like an arm bar. More common to see those on bottom, stand up. If all legs starts, punching down at me, you know, I'm defending here, no things to keep on your feet. Here, in this kind of situation, the guy will release the leg through, chop down, and go for the heel hook. So, or for the knee bar. You'll see that in this also, this bombing position as well. You guys bombing here on me, you can under here. You can take the knee bar. From side mount, once you pass the half guard, run it back. From side mount, you got a top wrist lock, Americana paintbrush here. There's your lock there. You can lift in the elbow, working against the elbow joint, and a little bit of the shoulder. Opposite way, double wrist lock in catch wrestling, or in jiu-jitsu known as the Kamara Black. Good old fashioned pressure on the throat, still works. Okay, if I get his behind her, most common you're gonna see is the rear naked choke. Go around so you get a good angle. Rear naked choke. Relax, relax, see Or short choke. That's on the throat, the rear naked's on the arteries. So those are your most common submissions. There's other leg locks, there's tons of neck cranks, there's umma plot, there's, there's, there's all kinds of stuff. But those are your most common highest percentage submissions. So I hope you appreciate this guy. Go to thecombatsystem.com. Thanks guys.